Alright, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kentor. In today's video, we're going to do another low taper fade. Starting out with these T outliners, we're going to go ahead and make our first guideline. For me, this is like the beginning of the, the journey for any barber, really, is to go ahead and master your blending. Um, once you get the, the length down, because it comes with guards, right? So once you get the blending down pack, I feel like the rest falls in line. So we're gonna go ahead and make both guidelines on each side of my head. And we're gonna also blend the beard, but we're gonna mainly focus on the, the blending right now as far as the fade goes. All right, so with the fine tooth comb, we're gonna go ahead and comb out some of those loose hairs so we can get a, a smooth blend transition. As you see, I'm using the corners of my clippers for me, it becomes easier and I won't necessarily say easier, but for me, instead of making a harsh line, keeping my clippers flat, we'll use the corner of my clippers. That way I can make an easier transition when it comes to blending. Um, as you see, I adjusted the lever just a tad bit, almost a quarter inch. And I'm attacking that harsh line that you see um, that I made with my, my T outliners. All right, so we adjust the lever again, a quarter inch. And if you notice, if you're looking closely, you can see a harsh line that I'm attacking with the corners of my clippers. It's, it's very detailed work and I'm moving fast in this video, but you wanna take your time in this um, part of the video, just so you can make sure you get the, the blend that you want. You're not gonna be perfect when you're first starting out, but you know, take your time when you when you're doing these cuts and also understand that when you get to a place where it's comfortable leave it like don't overdo it because you'll come to ruin your cut after a while so like i said bro that your hair gonna grow back so it doesn't matter um how clean it is you know what i'm saying you you will always have a template to go off of once you once you start because it, like i say it's on your head so don't don't think you're gonna get it right the very first time. It comes with time and it comes with practice. I've been doing this over 10 years, cutting my own hair 10 plus years. So I kind of got the rhythm for what I like in my head. Like to be real, I don't always cut the perfect haircut on myself, but I don't overdo it. And I'll be satisfied with it when I'm, whenever I'm done because it's my head you will see people comment like, you took the fade too high, but how you gonna tell me how high I took the fade on my head? Bro, it's my hair, you know what I'm saying? So you'll get comfortable with cutting and understanding that your mistakes are your mistakes. If you make mistakes, you can fix it. All right, so now using the one guard, your clipper should come with all these attachments. Um, but yeah, we're using the one guard and we're gonna also use the corner of our clippers and do the same thing, the same process over and over. Bro, it, it comes repetitive, and anything that comes repetitive should be um, easy to learn over time because you're doing the same thing. But we're gonna use the corner of our clippers and we're gonna attack that bulky line so we can get a smooth transition. As you can see that the fade is starting to come together, uh, we adjust the lever and we continue to do the same thing over and over. Like my job is to make this process easy for you and it, I want to help each and every last one of you watching this video or the people that want to learn to become more self-sufficient and rely, relying upon themselves to, to take care of some of the necessary tasks. Like we don't think about some of the things that we spend our money on um, each and every day when we can make the investment to purchase the clippers and learn the skill set ourselves. That way we save ourselves time, we save ourselves money and some of the most expensive, like the most expensive thing that we exchange is our time. So we can get our time back. We could get a lot more things done throughout our days. And on top of that, no one's gonna care about your haircut the way you do. So why not learn it, right? We have barbers these days and not to shit on barbers, but it's like they're charging a lot of money, which is your price is your price. I'm not hating on your price, but the work needs to reflect the price. Like don't, get me in your chair and you rushing to cut as many heads throughout the day so you can 
make whatever top dollar that you're trying to make. No, take your time when you cut my hair. Actually learn my hair shape. You got clients that you should learn what their hair shape like, what haircut fits their head, and how you should go about, you know what I'm saying, getting them the proper haircut. And actually taking your time, make sure it's clean. So if you can do that, then fine. But it's a lot of barbers that don't do that. So, you know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself the way you need to be and invest in, invest in equipment. Invest in the skill set because this will last you a lifetime. But yeah, so we can we can move on. We can go ahead and go to the beard. I'm, I'm blending in my beard. So my beard grows weird on each side. It grows differently. So as you can see here, I'm going down and up just to try to get a smooth transition as far as like my blending goes like on <clears throat> on this side i have to work with the way the hair grows on on different angles so on this one side i have like a swirl in my beard so i have to uh adjust the blades and just figure out the blending as i cut lower and lower or higher so on the other side it's easier for me to blend Right, because my hair grows in one direction, but on the right side it grows. Um, uh, and that's a journey that you'll have to figure out on your own because cutting your hair, you'll learn that it's a it's a chance that your hair grows uh, in different directions too. Like you'll have to play around with it with the blend. So a lot of the blending methods won't work depending on how your hair grows. Um, but that comes with time; you'll figure it out. So a tip that I want to mention or give you guys is to always wash your hair before you cut your hair. Like, as you can see, my face is hella ashy right now and it's dry, but that's on purpose because I want to make sure my, once I go and do my lineup and I spray all my um, hair care stuff on there, that like the holding spray, it sticks, right? So I use extra soap on my lineup. I do that like two or three times just to make sure I got all the oil removed from my, my hair so that build up won't be in the way when I go and give myself a lineup and my lineup will come out like super crispy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part, but you also wanna make sure you take your time on your mustache and your beard. Um, your mustache, if you have one, if you have a beard, it could make or break your haircut. So again, take your time, at least learn one of the areas first and then let your beard grow back out before you try to learn a different area. Like how I'm lining up the top of my mustache right now, Learn, learn that part first or learn to hit the top of your mustache first before you try to do the whole thing because you can mess up very quickly and it takes time to grow back. So, you know what I'm saying? Just take your time when, you, when it comes to lining your beard up. Now, when it comes to cutting the hair up under your neck, uh, this could be tricky because depending on how you cut your hair, it could kind of like snag and it could cause bleeding if you nip yourself the wrong way. But so just make sure you take your time, find a way that cuts yourself. I learned for me, um, flipping the clippers and pulling down with my other hand, pulling down on the skin will allow for my skin to stretch. And it's easier for me to cut that hair without it snagging. Um, I go underhand, just remove the bulk of the hair, and then I'll flip it how I have it now. And I'll use that to actually make the line consistent. Um, that's what works for me. See how I said I flip it underhand to like remove the bulk, but then I'll turn it around and make a sharp line. So find out what works for you. This is what works for me. Again, make sure you wash, when you wash your face, wash under your neck to remove all the dirt and buildup so it makes your hair easier to cut and it's not like a lot of oil in the way. All right, so this next clip is gonna be me starting my lineup. Again, if you remember in the earlier clips, I went ahead and sprayed the holding spray and then I went in, like, removed some of the hair up under my neck so it gave time for the holding spray to dry because I don't have my blow dryer with me. All right, so we're going to start with my C cups. Again, you're new to this, take your time. Don't rush this, this step. You know what I'm saying? You're in the process of learning to cut your own hair. This is not something that needs to be rushed. So take your time. So I use the full blade of my clippers, but I go lightly and I gradually work my way from the top of my C cups towards my ear. But like I said, I take my time on this step. Yes, I do. No, I do know my head. I've learned my head, but this still is a part that I take my time on. So you'll see me gradually checking side to side just to make sure it lines up. And my hair, it grows weird. 
like as you can see like my the top of my lineup i have like overgrowth on on my corners but i keep it that way and i don't push myself back like some barbers would have pushed me back but i keep it that way because i want my hair to grow in its natural state i don't want to be pushing my hair back and having that part permanently bald you know what i'm saying so take your time again take your time so now um it's hard for me to see actually if you can tell i'm kind of like angling my head because my phone is in the way so i'm looking in my phone also behind the mirror is a mirror also behind my phone is a mirror so i'm trying to look in my phone and at myself in the mirror behind me but lightly tap across the front of your hairline as you see i'm not pushing it back i'm staying right there on the top of my hairline because i know in a week i'm going to cut my hair again you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to get it perfect i know in a week i will be needing another haircut and this is how i don't push my line up back you know what i'm saying I, I tread lightly across my hairline and i keep those loose hairs as you if you remember i combed my hair down um after spraying the holding spray i should have did that before but i combed my hair down just so i can get those hairs laying down so i know what to cut off um and that prevents you from pushing your shit back you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying just use these steps and again i'm gonna start a live stream course so you can follow along with me and i can teach you a more detailed way of cutting and i can answer your questions you know what i'm saying uh live feedback however you want it so i'm gonna link my patreon down below and i'll be starting those live stream called not live stream calls, live stream cuts very soon. So if that's something you want to be a part of and you want to learn from me directly in a more one-on-one uh, -on -one type of setting, you know what I'm saying? Maybe multiple people, but if you want to learn, learn in that environment, I'll leave my Patreon down below. But yeah, man, as you can see, this is the straightest I'm going to get. Yeah, my hairline is, like I said, on one side, it's like not as straight, but it's cool, bro. Like I'm, I don't try to get the perfect cut. I just need something to get me throughout the day because I know nobody's staring at me long enough to see if my my hairline is straight. And if they is, they, they weird. That's that's some weird behavior. But yeah, man, like I'll, I'll consistently go over and over just to make sure I get it to where I need to and then I'll stop. Because it's easy to mess up if you continue to cut in the same spot over and over. So sometimes it's best to just step back, take a look in the mirror and, and just be satisfied with what you got. All right, so now comes probably the most difficult part about cutting your hair. I personally use a handheld mirror. I'll link um, in my equipment list, I'll link the mirrors that I use and also options for the mirror that hangs on the door. I know a lot of you seen that like on social media, but now I make a, a straight line across using my T outliners and I'll clean up the rest of my neck by just going up and down with the clippers. Just remove the, all the excess hair that I don't need, but just make sure you take your time because this step, you can't accidentally cut yourself. So just take your time. And as far as the line goes, you don't have to get it super straight. Just get it as straight as possible. I mean, the blend, once you start blending, it'll kind of hide the line anyway. So it'll blend in perfectly. Just make sure you just get it as straight as you can. If not, it's, it's not really a big deal. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we'll go ahead and start with our masters. We got the lever all the way open and we're going up an inch in the back. Yeah, we'll probably go about an inch and we'll keep that line consistently. We're using our blades flush to the skin. So that means I got my clippers flat. I'm not using the corners. I'm keeping my clippers flat and I'm just going up an inch so I can make that next guideline. I'll move the lever in and I'll repeat that same step. That bottom line is what I'm aiming at and we're gonna use that as a guideline to remove. So each time that I move the lever up, it'll be that line that I'm attacking. And I'm trying to get it to blend as consistent as possible. All right, so we'll move the lever in again, and we'll go in with more detailed work just to attack that same line until that blend starts to fade in, transitioning very smoothly from the top of my crown down to the bottom of my fade. I just wanna to continue to remind you as this video progress, to make sure you take your time, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I emphasize that because that's that's really important when it comes to cutting your own hair. You don't have to be in a rush, you know what I'm saying? There's nobody waiting in line 
it's just you, you clippers in your mirror, you know what I'm saying? This this could be a form of therapy, you know what I'm saying? I, I really enjoy cutting my own hair. Um, so just take your time. All right, so moving on to the next step. Again, it's really the same process over and over. We put the one guard on and we go up an inch, removing that bottom line, which is the bulk. That's the heart, the harsh line is the guideline that we're, we're going to remove. Um, again, these are the same steps that you'll repeat over and over. There's really not much to it besides that. Like once you figure out how to angle your clippers and the mirror, and you can actually like cut the back of your head pretty consistent, the movements are all the same. And the only thing left to do now is to learn how your hair grows because you'll have to adjust how you cut it and where to cut it. But other than that, bro, like like I said, it's, it's making guidelines, to removing guidelines, learning what clippers does what, learning what guard does what, you know what I'm saying? Learning how much hair it takes off. All that comes with experiment. For example, if you notice, I put the half guard on. So the half guard is the guard between the one guard and the clippers without a guard on it. And I use that to go in and do all the detail work. As you can see, that that faint line that I created with my outliners, it still has a faint line. So what that half guard is gonna do is gonna go in and take the remainder of that bulk out and make sure that blend is exactly where I need it to be. And like I said, you will learn these guards and what they do over time as you continue to experiment on your hair. And I'll be able to walk you through what all the guards do and everything's in between so you can get the haircut that you desire for your hair anytime that you want. All right, so moving on with our T-outliners, what I'll do now is with the same hand that I'm holding my clippers in, because I'm holding the mirror, I will fold my ear down as, as good as I can, and then I'll go ahead and make that line line up in the back of my ear. So what you don't need to do is, you don't have to go up as super high, just go as go up as high as you need. You don't have to go around your ear like I'm doing right now. So just make sure you can get that line straight and then just move on to the other side because you can take yourself up higher than you actually need to. So just take your time, but you can actually avoid this step just so you can uh, remove some of the room for error. But if you just need to have a line in the back of your head, just take your time. So that wraps up my video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Uh, right now you'll see me going over my, my taper only because I'm able to see now that I moved my camera out the way, but that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, again, I'll leave a link to my Patreon. I will be doing live stream cuts and I'll be teaching you the steps that I've taken and I'll be going over some of your haircuts so we could, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all in the, in the process of cutting your own hair so you can go ahead and have this skill set in the bag. All right, so if you're new here, my name is Kentori. Thank you for watching the video, for all my returning supporters, man. I appreciate your support. These videos have really been taking off in the past couple of weeks, and that's all because of you. So I couldn't do it without without my people following. So I, I appreciate the support. And again, I'll, leave, I'll link my Patreon down below if you want to go ahead and sign up. Also, before this video ends, I'll go ahead and have a, a spreadsheet to all the equipment that I that I use. So I have y'all can have access to that also. So yeah, man, I appreciate the support and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.